Mr. Chair, thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being with us. Um, the administration's entire infrastructure plan is about leveraging a small federal investment through profit-driven investors. And if there's no profit to be made, it sounds like the same folks who've been left behind before are going to be left behind again. So can you tell me, um, do those investors plan to fund projects in struggling rural communities like Concrete or Darrington in my district or similar communities across the country um, when these communities won't necessarily provide a lucrative return, um, and, but they desperately need infrastructure investments to support farmers and families and small businesses. Well, I agree with you completely that there are there are many projects that won't have uh, returns for investors, and they need to be funded either through federal dollars or state dollars. Public-private partnerships are not appropriate for everything. Well, we um, have very few federal dollars uh, in the president's budget, so it's very concerning. Um, in fact, according to the White House, how the project will spur economic and social returns on investment ranks at the bottom in terms of deciding where dollars would go. It's just 5% of the formula for choosing projects versus 70% for the ability to secure non-federal funding. That's very concerning for rural communities.